Today we ask the age old question. Will it pie? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. When you're an entertainer, you need to prepare for the day when people will no longer click on your face. It's what you do. So as you know, all year we've been going out into the world in search of what else we might be good at with a little help from our friends at Geico. Oh, yeah. It's time to take another field trip, uh, y'all. But this week we decided to do things a little bit differently when we visited a pie shop and asked a very important question. It's, it's time, time for The Backup Plan. Pies, love them. They're the reason cakes look so jealous. But they're one of the items for which we have yet to answer the question, will it? So today, instead of answering that question within the comfort of our typical mythical environment, we've decided to venture out to the streets. Specifically Traction Street in downtown LA, home of the Pie Hole. Welcome to the Pie Hole. Thanks for having us, I love pie. You're in the right place. So what are some of the pies that you have? We have one called the Lonely Pie. So it's chocolate, peanut butter, yes. and potato chips. Peanut oh, butter wow. and potato chips? And an Oreo crust. I like your style. Hook us up. This is uh, mom's apple crumble. It is mom's recipe. Oh, you're gonna feed us, right? Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I feel like I'm in like middle America in my mouth. Uh, can you crash land it? in my pie hole like a malfunctioning helicopter. There you go. That's unpleasant to watch, but I hope you're enjoying it. Mm. You've made my pie hole very happy. I'm picking up on something here. You guys are already experimenting. You're kind of taking things, inventing things. Mm -hmm. So okay. we've got a history of taking traditional dishes, like a taco or a pizza or something like that, and then adding unexpected ingredients and asking the question, will it, to see if we can create a new version of that thing. Yeah, maybe it'll end up on our menu. All right, it's time to ask the age old question. Will it pie? All right, it's our first ever on location, will it, and here at the pie hole, they've already gotten pretty experimental with their pies, but we think they can push things a little bit further. Yes, you guys know the drill. We're gonna bring in pies that we have conceptualized. Right. We're gonna slice them. We're gonna taste them. Right. And we're gonna determine if they will. Now, this first one, when you think about Chinese takeout, you don't necessarily think pie, but that is all about to change with Kung Pao Pie. Kung Pao Chicken. Will, Will it pie? pie? Bring it in. Okay, uh, this is basically leftover Kung Pao Chicken inside of a pie. Kind of like chicken pot pie, but with Kung Pao Chicken. I'm excited about this. I'm excited because I constantly have this in my refrigerator. And if it, if it pies, then now I always have a pie in my fridge. Right, and you know what? It comes with a special little treat at the beginning. You eat your fortune cookie at the beginning of this Chinese this meal. This fortune is for if it will pie or not. A bold and dashing adventure is in your future. Okay, your luck will soon be at a high point, meaning we're about to peak, maybe in life. Ooh, it looks like oh, it could gosh. be apple pie. It's yeah. not. And there's something you don't know about me, Link. We've known each other for a long time, but I always keep a pack of soy sauce in my left upper pocket. So inside of here, we've got uh, Kung Pao chicken, we've got uh, fried rice, and we've got crumbles of fortune cookie. All right, let's go for it. The initial sweetness threw me a little bit. I'm not complaining necessarily. You know what, mm -mm. I want a little more, little more soy sauce. I get a little more savory. You gonna eat some more? You know when you're going for a second bite, that means it pies. It's got a good, Sound to it, Kung Pao Pie, Kung Pao Pie, Kung Pao Pie. I think we have just revolutionized. This will sell, um, no doubt in my mind. Dig into the back of your fridge, guys, because we got a new pie for you. Will it pie? Yes. yes. All right, for this next one, we're going sweet, and we are addressing the complaint, why can't I have my cake and eat pie too? It's birthday cake. Birthday cake. Will, will it pie? pie? Happy birthday to pie. You know, the thing I'm excited about is this has the potential to end the cake versus pie debate once and for all by neutralizing it and bringing them together in one thing. First, let me point out, we should blow out the candles because they're melting into it. Make a wish, what's your wish? What was your wish? You 
It was a quick, you made a quick wish. Typically you wish quietly or, or silently. My grandma always said, what's your wish? So I told her. Well, that's why you haven't I mean, done like, any I, of your wishes. I, I wish you wouldn't ask me what my wish was, Grandma. <laughs> so what was your wish? This? Uh, that this will pie. How could this not pie? Let's, let's cut this Well, thing. so you're not gonna just find cake in there. We have the cake, the icing, the toppings, glitter. Oh my goodness, look at that. Mm. It smells like cake, looks like pie. My brain is confused. Mm. You think there's any sugar in this, Link? A little bit. This is what the children of America need. If you serve this at a, at a kid's birthday party, they would like, go into shock. Yeah, you'd have, to, you'd have to sign waivers first. Yeah, the children would all be taken to the hospital for early onset diabetes. This is like the edible version of a clown. Like if a clown exploded, I mean, and I never knew it would be this good. I'm wanting to like it so much, but it's kind of that too much of a good thing. Is that possible? Just take a smaller slice. Here's the reason I, I think that this pies because it because it does settle the debate and you don't have to make a choice. Will it pie? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this next one we did pretty much just because we came up with a cool name. Octopi. Octopus. Will it pie? It kind of smells like an aquarium that's being cleaned out. <laughs> oh gosh. Like the filter. Like you get to the filter and you're like, oh, I really need to go, I need to go to the store and get a new one of these. And then you're like, but I don't, I don't feel like that, so I'm just gonna shake it and put it back in. This is not how I typically Oh. Wow, it's very look at how look at the gunk in it. Look it looks that, like guys. refried beans, but it's just octopus. Can I opt out? Is that an option? Can I just can I just say it won't pie and just be done with it? No. Do we have a barf bag around here? We have a we have to-go boxes. Okay. <laughs> so if well, we don't eat it now, if it comes up, we gotta eat it later. Well, it's about to go into them. Three, two, one. All right, I don't wanna wait, I don't wanna watch. <laughs> oh, come on, no, no, fight it. Seriously, uh, fight uh, it. Hold on. Don't, don't let it go. It didn't come up. The, the leg is not even. I just had a reaction. I'm trying to acclimate my brain to it by smelling it. Take a bite, man. Oh, God. I'm actually beginning to cry. I'm beginning to cry. I know, there's tears coming up in my eyes, too. Mmm. I got. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Don't do oh. I feel like I failed at life. Ugh. I'm, I'm sorry I bailed. I'm gonna get it now. That's one swallow. Yeah. I did it. You know what? It was really good. Yeah. I think people are going <laughs> to love it. I can tell. Everyone here is yeah. going to love. Yeah. There's a lot of promise in this. That's thing. right. So will it pie? Mm, no. No. Now my aunt always made the best pies. And that got us to thinking, why not make a pie with ants? Ants. Will, will it pie? pie? This oh. is a very creative presentation, as you can see. Link, it looks like an ant hill. Those ain't cookies. And that is. Those are ants. An actual ant trail made from ant pieces. Really what happens when you bake ants is they, they fall apart. It's full of ants too, which you can buy ants to eat because the, uh, the future is- Ants. We're all gonna be eating insects. The future is ants, people. It's gonna happen. I'm not being facetious. We might as well figure out if it will pie. This is, it's an ant meringue pie. So it's basically like a lemon meringue pie, but instead of lemon, it's ants. Oh, oh look at that. It's, it's deep. I just smelled ant. It's like a zoo smell. It's like, since when does a, do the ant smell? There's a lot of meringue. <laughs> a lot of ants, too. Uh, it's like a layer of dirt. See oh those ants? Oh my goodness. The gel that these ants are uh, like petrified in is, um, I'm just gonna call it ant goo. We might as well have had a, an older lady spit into this because I don't think it would have changed it at all. Think it and sink it.
It's not bad to me. Do you look like I'm enjoying it? Yeah, you look like you're having a blast. Think of it like... This is the face of the future. Think of it like crisp rice inside of a, uh, a mushy chocolate bar. It's really crunchy, but I'm just thinking about crisp rice. Well, you got dead ants all over your tongue. Well, I got most of them down, though. Yeah, I mean, I see some of your on yours, too. Is the ants on my tongue? A little bit, but I don't care. Here's the real test. Would How you often be, does that happen? Would you be willing to take another bite? Yeah. I would, too. Are we going to? No. No, no. Will it pie? Yes. Yes, kind of. Okay, so three out of four of our pies did indeed pie. Now it's time to try these pies on the people. Um, this is Kung Pao pie. You heard of Kung Pao chicken? It's in that pie. Seems like a really effective way to eat leftovers. Right. Uh huh. In pie form. You can have another bite. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like it on the menu here? Uh, probably not. Are we supposed to eat that? Yeah. And then a few hours later, Wow, that is... Oh, wait. You're not into it? Nah, I don't want to get diabetes. Anties and pie. Right. How do you spell ants? Both, yeah. Both ways. Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Good. Yeah. I got. I think the cream is good. Right. He's got a different look on his face. <laughs> you can taste the ants. Yeah. Do you like ants? No. Oh my God! They actually look like ants. Because they are ants. You can be the queen. Chew it. Give it a good chew. <laughs> it's got it's got a nice crunch to it. Yeah, I had a little mm -hmm. crunch. So, do you want that on the menu? No. So that's a unanimously positive customer response if I've ever seen one. Surely Lindsay would add at least one of our pies to the pie hole menu, right? Coming in for a landing. No. Okay. I, for one, I'm gonna leave now. We'll leave this here for you so that you. you can taste it and see how great it is after we leave. Sounds good. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for coming to the Bible. I do highly recommend visiting the pie hole, but don't expect to see any of our pies on the menu. Yeah, it looks like we will continue to be entertainers for the time being. Thanks to Geico for sponsoring this episode. Go to geico.com where 15 minutes could save you, what, 15% or more on your car insurance. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and sharing this video. You know what time it is. Daniel. I'm Chelsea. We're from Traverse City, Michigan. And we're on top of Mount Whitney in California, and it's the highest point in the continental U.S. It's, it's time, time to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. Don't forget to like us on Facebook because the week of Christmas Christmasicality starts on Monday where you can win all kinds of cool stuff. And click through to Good Mythical More to find out how we kept warm on a bitterly cold night while camping recently. Uh, awkward moment of story. silence while the wheel still spins. Click through to Good uh, Mythical More. Why to spin? You've been really spinning it lately. Yeah, yeah well, I've been... i my spin muscle. Link decides to wash his hair. Hey, you know what, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little greasiness happening. I know it's not a good time for this. Yeah. There's, we're doing a show and all, yeah. but I really, I just gotta wash my hair. <laughs> I don't know why I'm on your shirt. That's the soap shirt? Didn't, didn't wash. What? That didn't. Oh. I thought that wasn't what the wheel said. <laughs> <laughs> like that's not what the wheel said. I just meant that, that wasn't wash. You didn't you actually sure? wash. I mean, you, you rubbed. You cold? He's like, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, me too. I've got all my clothes on. I'm in this sleeping bag. I've got the liner on. Help me, son. <laughs>